All right, man, real quick, uh, let's talk about J-Mo. Um, he's being investigated. Talked about this on a live yesterday, but let's go ahead and get this out the way. I uh, want to read everything to y'all. Uh, y'all want to see a little bit of body film, film footage. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Yeah. Topping our news tonight is that off-the-field issue now facing one of the Detroit Lions young stars who is already serving a two-game likely send shop. Williams is not a CPL holder. The seven investigators exclusively obtaining body cam video of the police stop in Detroit. But were the cuffs taken off because of his high-profile status? Our questions have already triggered a Detroit police internal So... I thought they was going to show more of the body footage. So let me see. So he wasn't driving, though. Of Connor and Jefferson, two Detroit police officers are pulling over a driver for speeding. I'm officer of Detroit police, you know I'm stopping you? Uh -huh. In the passenger seat of the black Audi is Detroit Lions wide receiver Jameson Williams. Driving the car is his brother. Before you start your training, weapons in the vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, he's a CPL holder? Yeah. Okay, where's your CPL at? Yeah. Alrighty. Any other weapons in the vehicle besides that one? Uh, yeah, I got another one. You got another one? Where's that one at? You don't gotta reach for it. It's over there with him. Officers said they found the second gun under Jameson Williams' seat. They would take both weapons, finding that the first, found in the back seat, was registered to Williams' brother, who had a concealed pistol license. The gun under Williams' seat was registered to him, but he didn't have a CPL. And that, the officer concluded, was a problem. I'm going to take you out, okay? So what? You're going to start for carrying a concealed weapon, and I'm just explaining it to you so I can be transparent. But you want weapon, sir. Okay. It's clear from the stop that the officer does not know who Williams is, but repeatedly, he would remind him. Only because I'm playing for the Lions, bro. I'm um, Jameson Williams. Bro, I play for the week for the Lions, bro. Bro, I play for the Lions. Sir, I understand you play for the Lions. That doesn't give you, like, any... I know, but I, I can call somebody right now that you can talk to. Bro. At one point, Williams' brother tells police that the gun belongs to him. But during the stop, the Lions wide receiver admits the gun is his. I got a gun for protection. Do y'all know where I live at? Detroit. Despite his celebrity status, Williams is handcuffed and placed in the back of the squad car. DPD Commander Michael McGinnis says that was the right call. I feel that there was probable cause to arrest and that he was under arrest by the patrol officer. And because of that, he should have been conveyed to the Detroit Detention Center and processed. But Williams wasn't taken to jail. Sorry. Instead, a supervisor was called to the scene. The department says that's not unusual for a high profile stop. It's a precaution to make sure I's are dotted and T's are crossed. So within a few minutes, a sergeant arrives on scene. What's his name? This. <laughs> Samuel Williams. 95 million. The wide receiver? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hang on. Unlike the responding officers, the sergeant is a Lions fan. That's made clear by looking at his cell phone. Over the next 30 minutes, the sergeant would make a series of phone calls to higher ranking officials trying to determine if Williams needed to be arrested or if the driver's concealed pistol license covered both his and Williams' gun. At one point, a sergeant can be heard whispering something to the arresting officer's partner. He indicated he was so mad at them. And I think what he was referring to was the arresting officers. I assume uh, in a jovial way for them having made the traffic stop and detained uh, the passenger. After conferring with multiple supervisors, the sergeant makes two more phone calls, and it sounds like Williams is about to be taken to jail. Well, if you guys, he's coming in, you might want to make special uh, accommodations. He's going to be going for carrying a concealed weapon. But minutes later, everything changes. The sergeant speaks to a lieutenant who says Williams should be released from custody. We can't hear his side of the conversation. Okay, beautiful. I'm good to let him go? Yes. You're here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Williams is taken out of cuffs. His gun is returned. A police report is not written. No warrant request would be submitted to the prosecutor. The chief was very unhappy about the totality of the circumstances here. Um, even to go as far as say he was pissed off. Tonight, Detroit... Me what, man? He wasn't pissed off. Let me tell you what he is pissed off about. He was pissed off because they got caught. Fair use. 
He was pissed off because they got caught. Simple as that. This got unveiled. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But police have launched an internal affairs investigation into this case and the decision not to arrest the Lions wide receiver. Late last week, a warrant request was submitted to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, with Williams facing a charge of carrying a concealed weapon in a motor vehicle. Quite naturally, I think the probable cause was there for an arrest on this particular individual. And my concern in this particular case is to make sure that we have done everything legitimately in this case. Man, this is the Detroit Police Department. This is the Detroit Police Department. Let me say that first and foremost. This is the Detroit Police Department. We didn't know them to do some wild stuff, man. I remember I got pulled over at the Myers or whatever on Grand River. Used to be red for high school. And I got pulled over there, right? I'm going to tell you this shit. So the narcs pulled me over. And he tried to talk all fast. You know, he tried to talk all fast like... You got any pistols? Like, dog, no, I ain't got no pistols in the car, nothing like that. They've been chasing us and hunting us and, 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 you know, throwing weapons on us and all throwing marijuana, dope on us, stealing people weed. Like, I ain't saying that don't go on everywhere. You know, I ain't saying that. But like I said before, it just seemed like, like the police in Detroit, you know, they like to fuck with the legit people. It don't seem like they ever get the criminals. You know, when they break in when they break into your car, you know, when they break into your when they break into your car, you know, or breaking your house, they'll never catch them. And they go out there and make deals with them. But nonetheless, Jameson Williams, you know, attorney, uh, attorney made a statement. So we heard about the warrant sent on Ken Worthy's desk for his arrest. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, us as black men, we hunt it every day. A lot of y'all don't even understand it. A lot of black dudes don't even understand how hard their life is and how easy other people got to you know, especially uh, black women from our community. A lot of people don't understand, like, we living under, we we, we operating under stress. If we operated it on some, half the stress that we was, op you know, if we was operating on half the stress that we have, bro. We'll, we'll be a flourishing people, but it is what it is. So his attorney made this statement. He said, Jameson made us aware that he was a, or this is the lion. So I'll read what the lion says. Attorney said, Williams attorney, Ty Flood. Um, not, never, <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs> Ty Flood released a statement to News uh, Detroit, uh, 7 News Detroit. Quote, on October 8th, my client were pulled over. Clients were pulled over for alleged traffic violation during the course of the stop. My clients were both cooperative and respectful with the police officers. But the two pistols were found in the vehicle. They were both properly registered to the driver and the vehicle had the proper credentials to carry them. We have cooperated with the law enforcement. We'll continue to do so. The Lions say, Jameson made us aware immediately that he was a pastor in a routine traffic stock. October 8th, we discussed the incident with him and have kept the league informed of what we know. We understand that he was released without incident or citation. It is now our understanding the Detroit Police Department's revision the matters of Jameson decided to turn in. We will not comment further on respect or the legal process. So my thing is this. I'll just say this, and I, I, I did a live uh, the other day, a vertical live. So go check that out. You hear more of my opinion on this side of it if you got to be somewhere where you need a pistol you got to live somewhere especially if you got the means not to lay there or be there you need a pistol you don't need to be there if i got to go somewhere and i feel like i need a pistol i need a gun i don't go there so that's all i got to say on that point check out detroit lions talk playlist uh fair you shout out to channel seven news hopefully jameson williams learn from this and grow from this but i would definitely understand if something happened with this they got rid of him um that's for his good and ho hopefully for him to wake up don't want to get rid of him but Sometimes it's best for the players to wake up and his brother put him in a situation like where you speed and doing dumb shit. You fucking up the bag, bro. You're supposed to be a brother. You're supposed to be a protector. But a lot of times your family members be jealous of your success and try to set you up. I'm not saying that's the case here, but you got Detroit Lions talk playlist. And I don't think it's the case. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon, Music, Kick. I mean, just Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, uh, Cash App, Venmo, CJ Good, 313, PayPal, link description. Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist. Check out also the link tree. You can find other platforms and channels. Peace.